Hey, welcome back in. We want to take a quick look at some of the weather we've been getting. The videos and photos across the Pikes Peak region today from the Briargate area to Garden of the Gods and even uh, Powers and Woodman. You can see so we've seen everything from hail, some strong storms move through, even a tornado. Sam, what are we looking at for the rest of today? Yeah, it was early this afternoon, about one mm -hmm. o'clock when uh, that severe thunderstorm popped up in Colorado Springs and it kind of made me nervous for a second because the hail sizes were upwards of one inch in diameter. We were thinking it would strengthen, but it didn't. Uh, it died off right on top of the city, which was good and a uh, ton of lightning out of those storms. We haven't seen any reports of hail damage in Colorado Springs, which is obviously a good thing. Good thing yeah. Here's one of the pictures that was sent to us. This was from Larry Marr uh, overlooking Colorado Springs. Unbelievable photo uh, with the mountains in the background, the lightning strike touching the ground. And thank you so much for sending this in, Larry. And uh, if you have any pictures from the storms earlier this afternoon, please send them in. I love showing them. Uh, I think the positive news about Colorado Springs and our forecast is uh, all of the severe weather is well off to the east of us. I mentioned this earlier, but it's still possible for a weak little rain shower in the Springs and Pueblo and maybe even a weak thunderstorm. But our severe weather threat is uh, uh, coming to an end here very fast. Uh, it's still that tornado warning up into northern Lincoln County. This shaded red area, the tornado watches till 8 p.m., but uh, the severe weather is really exiting El Paso County and exiting Pueblo County as we speak. Stretching all the way from uh, Otero County up through Crowley into Lincoln County, Elbert County, and same into Lyman. Uh, so it's 517 right now. Uh, NWS had the tornado warning going until 515. It does look like they extended the polygon to north of Highway uh, or I-7. I should say, uh, but over the past couple of minutes, I've been taking a very close look at the radar returns and the velocity out of uh, that thunderstorm that's in Lyman. Uh, if we can switch over to hand tracker here, uh, it seems like the rotation died off. That was as of two minutes ago, but let's check in on it right now. Uh, we were seeing these shades of yellow and even shades of orange, which indicates very strong rotation. Not so much anymore. You can briefly see that uh, little box of dark red, which is the weakest rotation that we have. So definitely good news uh, as it seems like the wind shear is starting to uh, dissipate slightly. Still dealing with that shade of purple, which is upwards of half inch size hail uh, on I-70 and very strong wind gusts uh, associated with this thunderstorm, upwards of 60 to 65 miles an hour. So that is still a strong thunderstorm and we're keeping an eye on the rotation as it continues to move north and uh, it's moving fast too uh, at about a 40 to 50 mile an hour clip so it's not hanging around any spot for long. Here's the thunderstorms that are in far western Lincoln County, far eastern El Paso County from Rush all the way down to that uh, Four Corners area, Pueblo County, El Paso County. Those thunderstorms are uh, on the weaker side. Still, uh, they are producing some small hail and strong wind gusts. You can just see those shades of purple scattered along uh, with the thunderstorms. Really looking at smaller than a penny uh, on the hail sizes there. Still uh, strong winds, could be seeing some tree limb damage, things of that nature, and quite, quite a bit of lightning. We were actually dealing with a flash flood warning in Pueblo, uh, but the National Weather Service down there let it expire as the flood threat has gone away. And then this line of thunderstorms extending all the way down into Rocky Ford. Uh, you're even seeing a quick little thunderstorm far northwestern Crowley County. And I, I think most of us on I-25, we're clearing up. Uh, we're looking fine, really, for Pueblo, Colorado Springs. The uh, severe thunderstorm threat is well off to our east now. If you live in Rocky Ford or Bent County or even off into Prowers County, Kit Carson County, those are some of the places that you'll be seeing some uh, stronger storms this evening. Here, if we can switch back into Lynx 1 now, uh, you'll be able to see some of these uh, severe weather threats for the rest of the night tonight. Okay, so five o'clock this evening, it's actually doing a pretty good job picking up that severe thunderstorm and then the line of storms extending across Highway 50. Keep an eye on Trinidad as that thunderstorm will pass through Los Animas County and then somewhat strengthen when it crosses Highway 50. These are the types of storms that are maybe about five to 10 miles wide, so not everyone on Highway 50 will see it. Uh, but when you see that rapid intensification of some of these thunderstorms by 8, 9 p.m., it is possible to still be getting hail by that hour across the plains. Not so much in Colorado Springs. 
things were uh, clearing out. 70 degrees right now, Burlington, low 60s in Pueblo, 59 Colorado Springs, and uh, all of the surface energy uh, in the atmosphere is out across the plains uh, as we've cooled down significantly uh, with those rain showers that passed by earlier this afternoon. Still breezy for us, and that's the name of the game tomorrow. Uh, yeah, we'll get some sunshine, but very windy Sunday forecast, and with all of this severe weather, it's a perfect time to download the Storm Tracker 13 weather app. All you got to do is uh, pull out your camera and scan that little QR code in the corner and it'll take you to the app store. It's free. You can follow along with radar and uh, keep an eye on this severe weather uh, for the rest of the night. Here's Woodland Park, 64 degrees for tomorrow. Sunny skies, though, in the extended forecast through Tuesday and even into a Wednesday, staying dry on Highway 50. And Thursday, Friday, an isolated shower, too, but the vast majority of us through the week ahead staying dry and temps closing in on 90 by Wednesday. So hopefully these storms scoot on off to uh, Kansas pretty quickly tonight. Colorado Springs, a weak shower this evening. All of our severe weather is uh, still about 20, 30 miles off to the east of us. Of course, we'll have more news and weather uh, that's coming up next.